Phrase, but how can Buffett support all the new federal spending, which he has done? Of course, he was a big supporter of President Obama as well, and criticize the deficits at the same time. Let's ask Peter Schiff, President and Chief Global Strategist at Euro Pacific Capital, somebody who is hugely against overspending and too much debt. Hi, Peter. What did you Hi, think Liz. of this uh, op-ed piece that Buffett put in there? It's almost like he was sounding a, a cautionary word here, but then said, for now, though, we should still do whatever it yeah. takes. Well, apparently, you know, Warren Buffett thinks the best way to get out of debt is to go deeper into debt. You know, I, I agree with his premise that the dollar is going to go down and that there's a lot of inflation in the future and it's a problem. But I disagree uh, when he supports uh, the Obama administration, Congress, all the actions that they're doing now that are debasing the dollar and are causing these problems. You know, apparently Warren Buffett thinks that the short-term benefits of inflation outweigh the long-term pain of suffering inflation. He is dead wrong. And, and the things that the government are doing right now, they haven't solved the problem. They are preventing the free markets from solving the problem. We will never have a vibrant economy in this country until we let the markets address the underlying imbalances. We are simply making them worse, and we are making sure that the problems that uh, Warren Buffett fears, not only will they happen, but they will happen much worse. All right. Well, when... It happens, if it happens. A lot of people, of course, are saying that, hey, we're not going to see inflation for many years because this deflationary trend is going to continue. You differ on that. I understand yeah. that. However, when the brakes have to be put on eventually, how will they be put on? Will it cause another great recession? Well, unfortunately, they really can't be put on at this point. I mean, you know, we're just going to go over the edge of a cliff. Uh, you know, the time to put on the brakes, uh, you know, has, has long passed. Uh, it, we're going to have to deal with the damage. But the people who are saying that, you know, it, the inflation is not going to be a problem for a long time, these are the same people who bought into the Internet media of the 1990s, the same people who said that housing prices would go up forever, the same people that thought we were in a Goldilocks economy. They are dead wrong. They have never gotten anything right. This is a major problem right now. Okay. And if you're talking about the price of oil going up, you ain't see nothing yet. I mean, we're probably going to see oil prices. By the time Barack Obama is running for re-election, we'll be well above $200 a barrel for oil. And it is specifically because of the inflation that Warren Buffett is, is championing that, that the government is creating right now. Okay, you, you are very concerned about what you perceive to be the actions that Congress and the President have taken reflating a busted bubble. However, when we go to this inflation issue, Peter, you know, we just got the July producer price index number that showed no signs of inflation. In fact, there's a little bit of deflation, you know, prices dropping. Where do you see the two you sort can't... of, you know, having that clash? Well, you have to understand the difference between looking in the rearview mirror and looking, you know, looking through the windshield. The last month. Inflation is inflation is the growth of money supply. You can see that that's happening right now. You can't look at the short-term factors on prices, particularly through a government prism, which is so distorts it. You know, I was watching the guy from uh, uh, Pimco, Al Arian, the other day too, and there was another article from Bill Gross today on, on the weak dollar. But he was saying that it's a foregone conclusion that the dollar is going to go down. But he was. Uh, 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 it drew comfort in the fact that it was going to be an orderly decline, which is completely ridiculous. The guys that manage bond funds to think it's a good thing to watch the dollar go down as long as the decline is orderly. It's like I'm going to, you know, would you, do you want to tell your clients you're going to go broke, but it's okay because you're going to go broke orderly. You know, this is a bad thing. Debasing our currency is a bad thing. It's unfortunate the policies that we've already done have debased the dollar. But to continue those policies means the dollar is going to have to fall a lot more. And, you know, I was critical of, of George Bush when he did the same thing. When he inherited a recession uh, from Clinton, he stimulated, he ran at the deficit, he sowed the seeds of what we're suffering now. Yeah. And now you have Warren Buffett applauding. Uh, Barack Obama and this Congress for doing exactly hey, Peter. What, what Bush did that led to the problem. Peter, let me just add, you're, you're running for Senate, correct? Well, I, not officially okay. yet, but I probably if will. Do, yes, I'm leaning in that direction. Do you think it's possible that you're going to get votes when you have such a pessimistic message? I mean, Reagan, Ronald Reagan was very critical of the politicians that preceded him and what they had done with the economy, but he had a hopeful message. I don't sense much hope in your message. Well, I only have hope if we can implement the changes that we need to, that we need to, that we need to make. I mean, if the people elect me in Connecticut and I can actually influence the other senators and the president to actually change course, look, there's a lot to be hopeful for when you when you when you when you put your hopes on the free market and capitalism I mean look we have basically lost the war in this country our factories are gone our savings are gone we have to rebuild we can either be East Germany or West Germany right now it's East Germany right. and I'm not going to be hopeful we go. if we're going to follow that path but we're if we change
change out of time. than I can be. That's about as helpful as we're going to squeeze out of Peter. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Peter. Good to see you. We'll